It was showtime at the Psy Performance Center as the annual Redstone Film Festival took center stage. The event, which is funded by media mogul Summer Redstone, featured the best of the best when it comes to this year's BU student productions. And those who braved the cold to attend agreed that it was well worth their while. I enjoyed it. Um, not, my, not the films that I wanted won, but I was pretty happy. I think that it brings together people from all over the school uh, and people who are interested in the arts and writing and films. Redstone Film Festival coordinator Professor Scott Thompson said the event was a success, adding that the main goal of the night was to let the students' work speak for itself. You know, we want to let this community know what our students are up to, what we're doing. Let the BU community know, let the local filmmaking community know, and then as well in LA, we've got now a screening within the academy. We want to let the producers, agents, you know, people out in LA know what we're doing. The first victor on the night was Marta Amingol, who won the Fielder Rosenberg Screenplay Contest, and she was thankful for the opportunity that most writers do not get. It's still really nice to be here, and it's, it's a great opportunity that screenplays for short films get this kind of attention because there are not that many competitions for, for short screenplays. On the production end, seniors Zach McGeehan and Dimitri Corey won with their documentary titled Salty Dogs. The BU undergrads accepted $2,000 for first place, but also valued the opportunity that the Redstone Film Festival awarded them. It's always hands-on experience. The, the more hands-on experience you can have, and like the better the product will always be. And uh, you know, trying to jump on every single project you can really get on, and then the sequential projects will be better and better. And I think that's pretty much how you know all our films got to be somewhat recognized, hopefully, you know, to some extent. The Red Zone is a, it's a complicated thing. I, I uh, it's always been, I guess, a goal of mine. I, I heard Steve saying that earlier, but. Uh, if anything, it's just a good uh, way to promote the film. BU film students were able to showcase their work in front of a packed audience tonight. And while not all could be winners, most agreed that the experience and exposure they got from the Redstone will help them in their future film careers. It is an opportunity that, you know, most filmmakers may never have, you know. I mean, if your stuff's good enough, you hope it will find an audience. And I mean, we found an audience tonight, so it's going to be a fun experience. The films get screened out in New York and Los Angeles, and then make DVDs. It just provides us filmmakers great exposure, and, and the audience always... And what's next for these young filmmakers? A trip to the New York and Los Angeles portions of the Redstone Film Festival. For BETV10, I'm Joel Senek.